Hello guys, welcome to Viva Barca, welcome to the home of everything Barcelona and of course welcome to the home of every Barcelona lover. Guys, I created this episode so that we can put our heads together and discuss on the potential managerial role for FC Barcelona. Of course, with rumors about Ronald Koeman's future still up there high, of course, saying Koeman will be sacked, Koeman will be there and we don't know what happens, we don't know the decision of Juan Laporta guys in this episode as you can see on my title we i want us to discuss on the potential managers who will take on barcelona next season and of course javi hernandez as i said in my previous episode just arrived barcelona yesterday monday and garcia pimienta of course we all know the barcelona big manager who is doing his best efforts there with them guys this episode i would think the discussion will be somehow of a debate but i'm just trying to state the fact it can be my opinion as well and some people will not agree with me but i just want us to discuss on the reason why garcia pimienta has earned the right to be the barcelona manager next season over javi hernandez and of course by saying this i mean discussing the reason why laporta should go for garcia pimienta over javi hernandez so this is what we are going to be discussing in this episode and i hope you watch the video to the end and also comment on your own opinion as well so guys if you haven't joined the family make sure you click on that subscribe button below because here on viva Barca, it's all about bringing the best barcelona updates to all the barcelona lovers so please ensure you click on that subscribe button and give this video a like as we progress right now One game remains in one of the most tightest La Liga finishes in recent memory. But all the coolest eyes are on another race. As Xavi Hernandez touched down in Barcelona the other day with a curiously large number of sweet cases, the rumors of a change in coach have escalated. That couple with Ronald Koeman's underwhelming first season in charge means Barcelona may be one step closer to having four coaches in two years. Incredible. Koeman has earned his plaudits, you know, particularly for leading the Catalans to the Copa del Rey title. Still, the home stretch of this campaign has unfortunately exposed his tactical shortcomings, making it seem unlikely that he will be given a long-term project at the club. President Juan Laporta is faced with a tough task, you know. In his first summer since being elected for a second term, he needs to rejuvenate a broken squad while making the right choice about who will lead it. Barcelona have been a revolving doll for managers in recent years and that has to end sooner rather than later. Reports have revealed a number of leading candidates including Ajax, Eric Tanghak, Xavi and Barcelona B coach Garcia Pimienta. Each come with their own set of pros and cons, you know, but Xavi seems to be the most probable choice as it stands. Still, there are many reasons that Barcelona B head coach Garcia Pimienta should be given priority as the Catalan's next coach. He was tied to the position even when Ernesto Valverde was sacked in early 2020 and when Kike Setien was let go later that year and now is the right time for this long overdue opportunity. So starting with the first reason why Garcia Pimienta should be chosen over Xavi Hernandez is the fact that he's a Barca born and bred. Born in Barcelona on August 3rd, 1974, you know, Francis Javier Garcia Pimienta is as blagrana as they come. At 12 years old, he joined the club's youth system and rose, you know, through the ranks. The winger made 68 appearances with the B team before making his first team debut on May 26, 1996. Unfortunately, he had to cement a spot within the senior side and was loaned out on multiple occasions, eventually retiring at 29 years old in 2004. Once retired, Pimenta returned to his boyhood club where he already served as a youth team assistant coach in 2001. While he was still a player, he walked his way up Barca's coaching ladder, starting you know, the Cadet A, where he was an assistant to the team that had players like a young Lionel Messi and Gerard Piquet. Over a decade later, in 2015, while still at the club, Pimienta became assistant coach of the B team. He then took over at Juvenile A, you know, the under-19 team, and helped them win their respective league and UEFA Youth League. He became Barca's B head coach at the end of 2017-18 season following the departure of Gas and Gerard Lopez and has been there ever since. Pimenta took over at an in op op opportunate, um, sorry, inopportune uh, time with the team having multiple losing streaks of over five games. But since then, he has helped guide them to two consecutive promotion playoffs, I bet they have lost both on penalties. 
you know, with nearly 30 years total at the club, um, Pimenta exhausts loyalty, dedication, and determination. In fact, he's currently Barcelona's longest seven coach. He experience alone makes um, for an impressive resume. Um, but that is not all he has going for his favor. But the second reason that we're going to be discussing is his tactical profile. Throughout his coaching career, we know Pimenta has been instilled with Barcelona's tactical philosophy. With a B team, the 46-year-old employs the club's Herald 4 3 3 along with a style that is dominant in possession and positionally fluid. As it should be with any youth team, his side prepares you know, players to play for the Barca way. The center backs are thought to be comfortable in possession, being the primary outlets for build up. Whether Nico Gonzalez or Yandro Orellana, the single pivot or defensive midfielder drops into the space between the two center backs. This is followed by constant movement and fluidity from the attacking players, such as the center forward moving deep or wingers moving into space behind them. Out of possession, his teams are high pressing but also not afraid to be more pragmatic too. In all, Pimienta has instilled immense tactical intelligence in his players, full of smart off-ball movement, numerical overload, and quick switches of play. One of the major concerns with Ronald Koeman this season has been a lack of tactical discipline and in-game management, and those worries would all be thrown out the window with Pimienta. Javi has shown flashes of positionally fluid attacking football with our side in Qatar, but Pimenta simply has a longer track record. It is no coincidence that Pimenta's coaching of um, you know, the B team has been in line with one of Barca's best generations of talented youth players in recent memory. His style is ultimately disciplined and organized, something Barcelona desperately need now, especially with so many inexperienced young stars coming into the fray. For the next and very very important reason why Pimenta should be chosen over Xavi Hernandez is man management and development. Besides his clear tactical know-how, Pimenta has also proven to be notable with player management and development. This is especially critical as he has spent his entire managerial career with youth teams. Much like Xavi and Coman, Pimenta would likely have the pull of the locker room given his past relationships with the players. Whether the veterans he once coached like Messi and Piquet or the youngsters he developed are nourished like Ricky Pish, Ronald Araujo, Mingueza, Moriba and next season's incoming Alex Collado. If Barcelona are looking to the future with a core of these aforementioned youngsters promoting Pimenta at the same time would do wonders for team harmony and confidence. While Xavi is a club legend and would have the respect of any locker room he steps into, Pimenta's close relationship with Barca's next generation of players is another added bonus. On the next reason, we talk about the flip side, that is to be as impartial as possible. There are a few counter arguments that come with promoting Pimenta, you know. One common hesitation is that he has only coached lower division football, namely, how does that success or experience translate to La Liga or the Champions League? There is no doubt that coaching the senior team is an entirely different beast and for many de um, detractors, no amount of experience will ever be enough. But Pimienta has all the tools, he has all the tools necessary to excel. Additionally, some have, you know, some have voiced concerns about the B team's failure to secure promotion to the second division in consecutive seasons. There are also some tactical questions raised, given the lack of the B team's fullbacks pushing up and being involved in the attack. Contrary to Barca's style with Jordi Alba and Sergino Dez's crucial roles in attack and the team's pragmatism at times. Nonetheless, the first concern about results cannot entirely be attributed to Pimienta and the latter in terms of style would likely change based on personnel. And for the last but not the least reason why Pimienta should be chosen over Javi Hernandez guys is, you know, promotion 20 years in the making. You know, in conclusion, all signs point to Javi as the be all and all, but Pimenta has been tailor made and groomed for his role for years, for decades. Besides representing and instilling everything, the club stands for tactically and philosophically. Pimenta's experience speaks for itself, despite not managing at the highest level, you know, together with the young stars he once coached, you know, he can help, he can help propel Barca into the future. At the end of the day, Pimenta may not have the resume of more world-class coaches or even the playing career of Javi, but sometimes, sometimes, a risk like this can bear the greatest rewards, you know. On the other hand, to offset any, any so-called risk, promoting Pimenta would also open a space in the B team that Javi could fill, giving the latter much more experience in the process. 
so this is a promotion 20 years in the making as i said and it's only right for laporta to give this man a chance it's only right for laporta to give him this much earned opportunity so what are your thoughts about this kindly drop your opinion down in the comment section below so guys that's all for this episode and i hope you did enjoy the video if you haven't clicked on that subscribe button what are you waiting for endeavor to do so to always stay up to date with everything barcelona until next time bye bye